from each other. And as Brad said, they are one of the rarest of the surf species, so we're very lucky to have them here in Australia. Kira, stay here. There is a common misconception out there about Kira. that people believe they're lazy animals. So quick survey, hands up if let, you think seals are lazy. Any of you? That's it. Some of you? <laughs> it is an easy mistake to make. Now the reason for that is seals are quite often seen on the beaches doing nothing more than just having a bit of a lie down. Or a nice sunny day having a bit of a sunbathe. Yeah, you've got to even have that tan line. But looks can be deceiving. A seal on a crowded seal colony needs to be very aware of all what's happening around and be very aware of the bigger seal. So a little seal like Lexi, she needs to watch her back at all times. That's right. Because you never know if a bigger seal is going to come along and want to take your spot. Now the big seals are very, very strong and they can be very aggressive. But Lexi is going to show us just how strong she is. Oh. <laughs> that might rhyme, he almost lost his belt. Which meant all the fish should have gone everywhere. Here we go, Lexi, we're going for a walk. <laughs> Lovely, now that's over 70 kilos that she was holding up on the chest and shoulder region. Now throughout the presentation you've seen just how flexible these seals are, how agile they are for getting about on land. These animals truly are acrobats of the sea. And to show you just a little bit more on that is Mitchie. So watch out to this end of the pool and let's have a look at this. Excellent. Very fast and as I said very agile. Now did we manage to get anyone wet in that Behaviour? Oh. Yeah. That's your fun Watch to put your hand up. We're going to get you really good this time. <laughs> you want to be a seal trainer for a short period of time? Yeah. Yes. Okay, sweetie, come forward. Now, Mitch is going to come out for this next behaviour. We need you up against the glass. What we're going to ask you to do is to throw your hands in the air and call out, jump, Mitch. Okay, but we'll get Mitch into position first. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, let's see if Mitchie's ready for this too. I'll get out of the way so I don't get wet. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Do you want me to count you off or are you ready to do it? Stop, Mitchie! <laughs> Brad, what happened? Did you hear it? <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so this time we'll get everyone in the audience to do it. So you throw your hands up in the air and pull out jump each. We'll do it on the count of three since there's so many. Of you. One, two, three. Jump each. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Did you get wet? Oh, we did well. Thank you for that. presentation I've been telling you different messages about pollution and what is happening out there and the overfishing. As I said before, over a hundred thousand marine animals die every year from different forms of plastics and pollution and we could all make a big difference to these animals by simply putting your garbage where it belongs and that is not on the ground for it to end up in our waterways and out to sea. Instead our garbage belongs in the bin. So we can all make a big difference to our marine environment. Lexi is now is also going to come back out and give us our parting message, which I think I've actually just given away. That's right, full heart. We can all make a positive difference to our marine environment. On behalf of myself, Brad, Mitchie, Ryan, Lexi, and Maya and Mav and everyone up in the sound booth. Guys, I hope you've had a great day of discovery here at Trogger Zoo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.